Hi, my name is Linda. I'm going to be donating a kidney um, for the benefit of my husband, who is in stage four kidney failure and on dialysis. When we first, he first began dialysis about a year ago, we began to explore the possibilities of me being a living donor and everything that that would mean for him and for me. When I learned what kidney failure would mean for him, I felt like surely there was something that I could do to make his life better and make him more comfortable. When I learned about kidney disease and all the treatment options, I was surprised at how much was available out there to help. Um, I thought that if we weren't a direct match that I wouldn't be able to, to donate and come to find out there's a program called Paired Exchange that allows just that. I can still donate and I was so excited to find I can help someone else as well as benefit my husband in his quest to move up the transplant list because I was a living donor and he can perhaps get his transplant more quickly because I donated and helped someone else. That's exciting to me. That's better than that. I ultimately decided to donate a kidney because he's my husband, because I love him, because I wanted to do anything and everything within my power to help him be comfortable and to live a better life. That was the ultimate reason. And the fact that I can help someone else in the process because I'm in the parent exchange program, it's just icing on the cake. My husband, as well as my adult children, worried that, oh, what could go wrong? What if something goes wrong on the operating table? I help them understand that I'm a person who researches. I researched everything about being a living donor. I have a clear understanding of what it means. And I am convinced and convicted that for such a time as this, this is the right thing for me to do. It's what I want to do. It's my choice. They can pray for me and they can support me in my decision. It's the best thing for my husband and for myself at this time. Things did get a little bit scary for me, a little bit harder, um, because I had to repeat a couple of medical tests. And what helped me to get through it is prayer. I pray all day, and I never, ever, ever gave up. I pursued and I persisted, and I never became discouraged. And finally, God said yes. As I mentioned, my surgery is scheduled to be about a month away. And as I roll into that operating room, I know that I will be praying and that I will be excited and I'll be thinking, let's do this. What I learned about myself and others through this process is that we're, we're, all, we're all one, we're all connected. And the fact that I can help someone that I may never even meet, it's just a beautiful thing. And I'm glad about it. The best advice that I could give someone who is thinking about being a living donor is to do your research, make sure you understand, and never give up and know and have peace within yourself that you're helping not only your loved one, but someone else as well. What could be better than that? God bless. Thank you.